This tutorial is going to cover how to make a custom order form for you to use with the Action Illustrated Instant Designer with your company information. First, go to File, Open. You're going to go to Computer, double click on your C hard drive, then go to the Action Illustrated folder, the Setup folder, and then the Order Forms folder. Then open up the CorelDRAW file you find here. This is the default order form that we have in the system. Here is where you can go ahead and put your company information. I'm going to take a vector logo that I have for Action Illustrated. I'm just going to drag and drop it right into the page. I'm going to delete the circle here that says your logo here and I'm going to scale down my vector logo to fit right in there. All this text here is editable text. I can double click on it and type in what I want it to say. Um, I would want to, of course, update the address and phone number, maybe put a website down here. I can also adjust the font if I don't like the font. It is all editable. I can also edit any of the text here on the bottom half of the order form. You'll want to edit anything here that doesn't apply to you and add anything that might be missing. Go ahead and move these up here. Maybe I don't have a machine set up and run fee. Maybe I could put in a rush charge though. If you have any set charges that you consistently apply, like maybe an artwork setup fee of $25, you can also put that right here. All of this information down here at the bottom, you'll be changing for each customer as you are setting up their specific order. So at this point, we're happy with it and we're ready to save it out. I'm going to go to File, Save As. You're going to need to make sure it's going into this Order Forms folder. Make sure that you save this um, file as something other than the order form one. I'm going to go ahead and call this action order form one. I'm going to also save it down to version 14 because I use both X4 and X6 on this computer. If you only have one version of Corel that you use, it doesn't matter. But if you use multiple versions, then you're going to want to go ahead and save it down to the lowest version that you use. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I also need to save a JPEG preview file. I'm going to go to File, Export. I, I want to make sure it's here that in the, um, the order forms as well. I'm going to make sure that it's on a JPEG option here and then hit export. It's going to bring me up into all of my export features here. First thing I want to do is set it to an RGB 24-bit color mode. And then down here under transformation, I want to change inches to pixels. I'm going to make it a 72 DPI resolution and my height needs to be 92. That will automatically adjust this if you have this box checked. So once I have all that in here, it's an RGB 24 bit. It is 92 pixels wide at a 72 DPI. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Can close out of this. So the next time that I'm using the Instant Designer and I go to Order Forms, 
you'll see that now you have the order form that you made right in there.